Hey everyone, Father Andrew Dickinson, your pastor here at Sacred Heart in Aberdeen uh, with a brief little message for you. It's on Election Day, November 30th of 2020. Uh, my first election as a priest was in 2008, and I was the uh, associate pastor, the parochial vicar at St. Mary's here in Aberdeen, coincidentally enough at the time. I didn't have Mass on that day until around 8 o'clock at night and was down at the Newman Center, a daily Mass down there. And uh, unfortunately, there was uh, no faithful showed up. It was just myself and the angels and saints uh, praying the Mass that night. But I was very struck uh, that the reading uh, for uh, that Tuesday in uh, what the Church would just consider ordinary time wasn't a special reading or anything for uh, the Election Day, but the reading was uh, from Philippians chapter 2 uh, about the great humility of Jesus Christ. And what I've noticed since then, 2012, 2016, and today, 2020, is it's the same reading, the same epistle reading. I know uh, a lot of you uh, are filled with anxiety, concern, and worry uh, in this time. And uh, that worry probably won't end with November 3rd because uh, we'll probably have uh, many days before we can figure out the results of the election. But I want to remind you all, uh, whatever your worry may be, Whatever the cause for your concern might be, Jesus Christ is Lord. That's the great message of Philippians chapter 2, the great truth uh, proclaimed in the Holy Word of God in Philippians chapter 2 that Jesus, uh, though he was in the form of God, he did not deem equality with God as something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being found in human likeness and appearance. And it was thus that he humbled himself, even to the point of death, death on the cross. What a glorious passage. What a wonderful passage and reminder for us. Whatever the results of the election, whether it's a result you fear, whether it's a result that you rejoice at, Jesus Christ is Lord. Okay, whether uh, there is uh, uncertainty in other ways in your life after this, Jesus Christ is Lord. So I invite you right now as you're listening to this simple video, renew your faith in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Renew your faith in the scriptures that tells us of the victory of God won in Jesus Christ. We must renew our faith in this way frequently in our Christian life. Renew our faith in the power and the goodness of God. Uh, did your candidate win? Great. Did your candidate lose? Jesus Christ is Lord. When we look at the scriptures, and we, again, we should have faith in the scriptures and what they tell us. When we look at the scriptures, we hear all the time about God using good and bad earthly rulers alike, sometimes even unwittingly using them for his purposes. Uh, I can think of... Uh, uh, a couple moments in the gospel, there's a passage where uh, one of the leaders in the Jewish community says, it's better that one man should die. And uh, the gospel commentator says, or the gospel author says, he didn't know what he was saying, right? Better that one man should die, referencing the crucifixion of Jesus and the good news that it is, the victory that it wins. We hear also in the Old Testament of a, a Persian king named Cyrus, who allows the Jewish people to be restored to their home after times of cruel oppression. So God can use rulers of all sorts, just as he does in our own lives, right? God writing straight with crooked lines. So do not put your faith in rulers of this world. They will come and they will go. They will succeed and they will fail. And probably more often than not, they're going to fail uh, by your judgment of them. But renew your faith in Jesus. If you're listening to this on Election Day, November 3rd, we are going to have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament at 8 o'clock tonight with praise and worship music. It's important for you to praise God at uncertain times. When in doubt, praise the Lord. Remember that in heaven there is a constant hymn of praise being offered uh, to God by the angels and saints. And here on earth, we are called to emulate that, to take part in it, in our own uh, imperfect ways here and now. And so one of Satan's aims is to silence your voices of praise here on earth. So let's not get him, give him the satisfaction. Whether it's uncertainty, whether it's loss, whether it's victory, let us all open our mouths and say, 
that Jesus Christ is Lord. And as Philippians chapter 2 says, every knee in heaven and on earth and under the earth, whether they're Democrat knees, whether they're Republican knees, whether they're Libertarian knees, whether they're Green Party knees, every knee will bend at the name of Jesus. And so let us join willingly, gladly, and in hope of his saving power and bend our knee at the name of Jesus.